Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another video on Outdoors Podcast. My name is AJ, and if this is your first time checking out the channel and you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you enjoyed. And if you really like this and you want to see more content like this, as well as videos on backpacking, fly fishing, camping, and living in your RV full time, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. So what I want to talk about today is my Filson Dryden briefcase. Now, when I was looking for a new bag for not only just everyday use, but also for the travel that I do for business, I really wanted something that not only looked great, but also was going to stand the test of time and really hold up for the long haul. Uh, when I travel, I'm in and out of planes and Ubers or you know, ride sharing cars. I go to all kinds of different events and I'm leaving my bag on the ground in schools and in companies and in places all over the place. Uh, so I really wanted something that was going to hold up and I was willing to spend a reasonable amount of money. I didn't want to drop thousands of dollars on something that I just felt like was paying more for the name than anything else, but I wanted something that was going to hold up. And I think I really nailed it with the Filson Dryden briefcase. Now, they also make a backpack that matches the briefcase. It's the Dryden backpack, and we're going to get a little bit more into the other bags in the lineup from Filson a little bit later on in the video. But I wanted to kind of give you some of the specifications really quickly, how I use the bag, what I'm able to put in it and carry, as well as why I really, really love it. So the bag itself is made of 1,000 and denier cordura nylon it is a uh, water resistant material. It's got really heavy duty, really high quality Filson zippers on uh, all of the different enclosures. All of the straps are made of like a really high quality leather or a matching really high denier uh, nylon. Um, in the bag itself, you've got three major compartments. You've got the main compartment itself, which is broken up into a few different pockets, which I'll show you here in a second. And then you've got these first two pockets here on the front. Now the bag itself is 14 liters in total capacity. It's about a foot tall. It's 16 inches wide and it's about three and three quarters inches deep. Um, the bag itself will hold a laptop up to 15 inches really comfortably as well as all kinds of other really great uh, equipment. And then uh, the bottom here, as you can see, is a double layer for added long-term protection. So really, really fantastic to have that kind of durability just built in. So inside the main compartment, I'm able to carry a 14 inch MacBook Pro, a 12.9 inch laptop. I always bring a full-size notebook with me. So I will bring uh, this notebook here as well that goes in the bag. I'm able to put in this secondary sleeve here. I always carry some sort of book. This is a, a fly fishing book. Um, there's also an interior zippered pocket here. And in there, I keep a slide advancer for using PowerPoints and things like that. I keep my little one terabyte Samsung hard drive that's all nicely tucked away in this zippered pouch here. Uh, behind the book, I typically keep some sales collateral for one of the companies that I run. And that really makes up the interior main pocket. I've put a vest like this or a rain jacket in there really, really easily. Fits really nicely. Uh, in the pocket over here, I will keep one pouch that keeps my DJI um, gimbal with me. I have a little pouch that keeps all of my different charging accessories, cables, and my laptop charger in it. And then I've got a 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank with a lightning cable so I can charge my phone. So that all fits really nicely and easily in there. With even a little bit more room to spare. And then in the right side over here, I'll keep a pair of sunglasses. Another little personal bag with eye drops, chapstick or lip balm, eye, uh, you know, AirPods and keys, things like that, just so they don't get jumbled around when I'm traveling. Uh, they also have sleeves for a pen, as well as I bring my Apple Pencil. And then typically when I'm traveling, I like to have a highlighter with me so I can uh, highlight the books that I'm reading. So that's really what I carry in the bag on a daily basis. Super comfortable to carry over your shoulder. When I'm traveling, I'm normally going with a backpack and then this bag as my one, two, carry on the plane, no checked luggage bag. So within the Filson lineup of briefcases or bags that you would use for you know daily kind of electronics use and, and work, 
uh, they've got four options. They start here at the Dryden briefcase. This is what fit in my budget. That was $195. Then you step up to the 24 hour um, tin cloth briefcase. That bag is uh, $395. Then you go to the rugged twill original briefcase that runs $450. And then the final step in the lineup is the original, uh, or sorry, the rugged twill computer bag. And that is right around $645 to $650. So going anywhere from around 200 to upwards of 650, uh, Filson's got you covered really throughout the range, whatever kind of type of bag you're looking for they've really got a great option i also think this would pair really really well with the dryden backpack which i think comes in around 265 dollars so could not be happier with this bag absolutely recommend it i think it's a fantastic option for someone that's looking for a computer bag something to use on the daily basis especially if you're doing a lot of travel but want something that's got that rugged look and something that's going to last for a really really long time I love Filson products. I'm a huge fan of their brand. A lot of their stuff is uh, designed and made right here in the United States. So super, super pumped to be carrying this thing for quite some time going into the future. So thanks so much for watching the video. Again, if you enjoyed the content, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and leave me a comment about what of the Filson products you would most like to have. I would certainly love to have some of the other bags in their luggage lineup. There's some incredible, incredible products. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you you like and uh, hopefully we can get some more Filson products into their lineup down the road and do some more reviews on that kind of stuff. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video here on Outdoors Podcast.